Kayla, the first time I met you, you were with Colby. Boom, roasting. <laughs> Dad, I didn't know it until recently, but you are the fastest runner in the house. Can we give him a round of applause? Yeah. Yeah. And you've definitely been more active lately ever since Austin started coming around saying, hey, Mr. Lance, can I talk to you about something important? Listen, Colby, I'll always have a soft spot for you. Aww. And I would wish you the best, but you've already had it. That's me, and that's my family, leaving for our relaxing Christmas vacation to Breckenridge to spend some quality time together. Let me catch you up to speed. Somebody is getting engaged on our Christmas vacation, which was exciting news to some people. And in the spirit of Christmas surprises, we're trying to keep it a secret until it happens. We all know who it is, but none of you do. So we hopped on our flight. Well, most of us did. I finally got my girlfriend back for Christmas, and we got to our cozy little home for the holidays. And then I had an idea for a new family tradition. I called it the first ever family roast, where we roast each other and leave the poor chestnuts alone. So today, all of us will be roasting each other like balsam wood on a fireplace. Sorry, guys. None of us are comedians. All of us are in the hot seat. The hot cocoa. Okay, I'm done. I'm actually kind of nervous about this. Oh, and one more thing. We partnered with Upward, the dating app, to maybe put $10,000 under your Christmas tree this holiday season. All you have to do is count the number of times the word Upward is said throughout the Christmas series on all vlogs and channels. Just look for all the videos that have this little emoji in the corner of them. Watch the episodes on all the channels, count the number of times we say the word Upward, and you could win $10,000 this Christmas season. That's freaking nuts. So, I've prepped my joke list, I've checked it twice, I've prepared my ego for the blows, and I guess the only thing left to say is, welcome to our first ever family roast. So, as you guys know, this is our first family roast. Yeah! Wow, okay, okay. The rules for the roast. Someone's name will be drawn from this basket. That person will stand right here with this microphone and will roast the entire family. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, let's go. First name. Michaela. Michaela. <clears throat> let's start with Colby. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Colby and I have great history. Tell him. We've become great friends, yes. and then some. And because of that, I know him pretty well. I could tell Colby started talking to a new girl because he's back to posting thirst traps followed by scripture. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> but hey, it works for me. It'll work for someone else. <laughs> She still believes in me. Listen, Colby, I'll always have a soft spot for you. Aww. And I would wish you the best, but you've already had it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Connor, you're the lovable little brother of the group, but because of that, I gotta check in with you. Are you training for the flexing Olympics? Or did someone <laughs> forget to tell you that humility is also a muscle worth exercising? <clears throat> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Connor is like one of those car jacks. Every flex of the arm is a pump up. Unfortunately, your pump is broken and you'll never be as tall as the rest of the guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Connor, are you ready? Let's get this thing. <laughs> didn't hurt my feelings. It didn't hurt my feelings. Because mm -hmm. you know. Didn't hurt my feelings. Right. But they're always coming at me about my, my height. When they know for a fact taller people look smaller, Austin, for a fact, 6'4, arms might be around the same size as mine. Mine look way bigger than Austin's, honestly. Because he's 6'4. Now that I'm 5'10, five, like five, five, I look bigger in the pictures. That's what all you guys care about. I look bigger. My chest, my, sh my shoulders. It's in the shortness and where you see it on the camera. That's okay, Connor. I know you'll be an amazing father, just judging from the dad bod you got going on. Oh my God! <laughs> dad bod on top, baby. Austin. Oh gosh. Oh my God. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whenever I find him at the house, no matter what the temp is, you can be sure Austin is wearing a tank top. Don't act like that's not true. Guys, confirm. Not even confirm. Time it's a hoodie. One that looks like he's been wearing it since he was ten years old. Oh. It might be time to size up. Time to size up. <laughs> what do I say to that? Maybe we should start calling you flatbread. 
Because you th- <laughs> flatbread is crazy. Oh my, oh my god. Because you thin and crispy people. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been really busy with work. I can't even deny that one. I think that about myself. Ali is also one of the most hardworking, consistent content creators I know. She is always posting more than most creators I know. It's so impressive considering she loses her phone legitimately every hour of the day. This is true. <laughs> this is true. You know, I'm just trying to live in the moment unlike all these people that I'm with in this house. We all have that favorite t-shirt, the cozy one that's old and dirty, but best for sleeping, or one pair of sweats that has holes in it, but you can't throw away. Yeah, Allie has something like that too. It's her denim jumpsuit that she wears to every single event. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Hey, hey. Starting to look like Lance's high school jeans he's been squeezing back into. <laughs> First of all, it is the holiday season. Do not bring up squeezing into anything. That is all of us. I don't want to hear it from anyone. Oh my God. Oh there my God. they are. They're right here. Oh there they are. There they Take are. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen. About that jumpsuit, you're dang right. And that sucker makes me look snatched. You got to go with what you know works. Carol, when I first met Carol, the first thing I noticed was her unique style. You always look fabulous, like a walking treasure chest. Seriously, with all that bling? I do wear a lot of jewelry, and it's true. Except on this hand. I just have one question. Are you trying to set the record for most jingles per step? The second thing I noticed about Carol is her amazing Brazilian accent. It not only sounds beautiful, but also is a great brain workout, like trying to decipher a secret code. <laughs> Ella. Ella is the sister everyone would want. Better stay on Ella's good side this holiday season. True. Because nope. she works for the big man in the red suit. Mm. But you gotta watch out, cause she's quick to become a little angry elf. And she's already got the built-in angry eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one so far. <laughs> Caleb. When I first heard about Caleb, it was Carol met a guy through Twitch. I imagined this type of guy. <laughs> That's Twitch. And when I heard his voice, I thought she had a crush on a 50-year-old man. <laughs> like them Norton, turn them lights down. Then I heard he was a cowboy, and from the sounds of it, a classic gentleman type. We are all still wondering about you though, Caleb. Are you playing dress up? Because right now you have the participation award for the most convincing cowboy costume. Yeah. Come and give me a handshake then. <laughs> Lance. Wow. I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Don't hold down. Down. Don't hold down. Don't hold down. You've always been like a dad to me. You've given me so much wisdom and genuine fatherly advice, especially when you answer with your mom at the end of every question. Hey, you know, I want to make sure that the parents aren't forgotten. And so that's my one way of bringing them into the equation. This is true. He does. Lance is one of the most stylish dads around. You're like a kid in a candy store wearing your son's leftover hand-me-downs every day with so much joy. You know what I heard? I heard that she didn't even write that herself. I do take some of Noah's clothes. He does take some of mine, but I do not take his underwear. And the truth is, in black, I look good. This is black, right? K-Cup. K-Cup and I have been through so many seasons of life together, and we've really gotten to know each other. She's so loyal and such a reliable friend, always when I need her. Just make sure you're okay with waiting a year for a text back. Oh! oh. oh. Right away. <laughs> Kay is already six feet. Most tall girls want to come down an inch. Not this girl, because Kay decides to wear platform everything. I think mostly to be able to check on Noah's bald spots. Oh my, oh my god! god! My, hair oh. my hair is fine. Check the top right now. Noah. Bring it. I've had the honor of getting to know Noah. He's truly one of the best leaders. Only Noah could convince a whole family of 10 to eat extremely healthy for a full year, then give up himself after one month. Oh my God! I want the best for you people! Noah, you're truly a mastermind in the art of exercise avoidance. Wow. You see that? 
Noah has really opened up so many doors for so many of us. He's paved the way for a lot of people to grow and become more successful. And he never fails to make sure we all know that. Oh, 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 Let's go, Michaela! Oh my okay. We like that. Next we like one. That. Connor! Connor! Yeah! yeah. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Welcome everybody. Let's give it all a clap for K-Cup for being here. Thank you guys very much. We have the pleasure of having a knockoff Barbie doll, real size. Yeah! I mean, I take it. Yeah, I will take it, you know? I'm gonna go Noah, you know? Always like, kinda like a big brother to me nowadays. I'm really excited for you to get this hair transplant. <laughs> I can't tell who's older, you or Lance, because that hairline is absolutely botched. <laughs> You got the same hairline as me, man. I don't think anybody's told you that yet, but you got the same kind of hair, exact same hairline as me, so you're joking at yourself, bro. We all know Noah's tall. Especially you. Rich and famous, and that's that's a, that's about it. Scott really gave you the uh, height, and you kind of wasted it, for sure. Oh my God. You're the most unathletic person I know, for sure. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I could beat him in a push-up contest right now. One other thing oh. is, if you were to be any sort of spice, it would probably be flour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Michaela, you know, you you really give off this persona of a nice big boxer. You know, you always go to these classes. Still are not tough enough to take a joke. Oh! I think I can take a joke. Caleb, first time I met him, he was wearing a tank top, and I saw this snail tattoo. It looks like my six-year-old sister drew it. Oh my God. Wait, a tattoo. Proud of it, too. Caleb, you look like you have puppies in the back of your van. And yes, <laughs> I would like to see them. I got German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Golden Retrievers, which one you want? That's all I got, guys. Thank you very much for coming to my show. Wow. Now I'm gonna pick the next thing and I'm gonna close my eyes, but I'm really wanting to see what this person says. Oh. Pick. Yeah. Noah. Oh. Oh. All right, so they say you roast the ones you love. This is gonna be really short. <laughs> Unlike everyone else here, I actually really like Austin's singing voice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing, it's all about context. I always ask Austin to sing at our parties when it's late and I want everyone to leave immediately. <laughs> Austin, I know you were worried about tonight, writing your own roast, and I, I just want you to say, don't worry, you can unclench your fists, and I promise this is gonna be the easiest vlog that Allie didn't carry you through. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, nice. Nice. Okay, Colby. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm coming for you. Knock him out. You're my bro. You know me like nobody else does. We've grown up together and we're not just brothers by blood. We chose to be brothers, which to me means even more. And it's with love I say, I feel no remorse in anything I'm about to tell the world. Oh, Colby yeah. Jackson Shinaki. Oh, full name. The only three words more undesirable than gluten-free cracker. Noah Shinaki's blogs. Kobe, I see that you're still single for the time being. Kobe has disappointed more blonde women than the Miss USA pageant. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on hot pocket. Kobe, your teeth are kind of like the Cheetah Girls. They're all different colors and they're all doing their own thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Cup, she's my best friend, she's my ride or die. I don't know what I would do if you weren't in my life, if you had not walked into that little Baptist church with all those coffees and took my breath away. Sometimes I catch myself in awe that you exist. Not just because of your external beauty, because of the amazing qualities I've learned to discover over the years. For example, most don't know this, but K Cup is the jealous type. Yep. Um, <laughs> K Cup's not usually the jealous type. Most girlfriends get jealous when they see other girls. K Cup is most jealous of my relationship with Colby. <laughs> <laughs> but vice versa, because Kobe gets jealous too, so I feel like it's an even split. Jacob is the loyal type. Another hot dude walks into the room, I'm good. A successful guy, a rich guy walks into the room, I'm solid. Someone walks in with uh, Mickey Mouse ears and says, what if I told you I have 10 fast passes? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but deep down, I know she'd make the right decision. And right after that, she'd come back from the roller coaster with great photos for the fridge. Yes. <laughs> wow, such a supportive boyfriend. I love you so much, K-Cup, and I love every part of you, and I'm so grateful God brought you into my life. Okay, Michaela, I think I speak for everyone here when I say you're family. And I'm so glad you're here so that I could roast you. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, I won't make fun of you yet. I want to make sure that everyone back home has a second to Google who you are. <laughs> but this introduction is way longer than her upward bio. Hey, 
You gotta let people know who you are if you're going to a new area. I just, I just download upward. I'm gonna put a picture of myself. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And then you, then you meet people. That's it. That's it. This one? Yeah, that's the one. Hit me up on upward. <laughs> People call Michaela a bad actor, but that's not true. They only think that because they didn't see her pretend to be attracted to Colby for two years. Oh! <laughs> it worked! She got in. She got in. The only thing more impressive than that is how many times Michaela has shamelessly reposted the same 20 IG reels she made in 2021. Oh! <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Ella. I wasn't sure why Ella wanted to do this roast, but then I saw that Ali said she would do it, and then I was like, oh, Ella does anything Ali does. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like you're jealous because you wish I looked up to you like that. And I'm so proud of the girl you're becoming. You're working your voice harder than ever before. You can't even do it, so don't even try to come at me. Oh, oh you uh, talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm coming for you. You're my day one. He's a living legend. He's the rock of our group, the firefighter, and the spiritual leader. Dad was a little nervous before this roast. Don't worry, Dad, nothing here tonight will be meaner than the smell of mom's motion-censored air freshener spray that sprays us in the back of the neck when we sit on your toilet. <laughs> There's one toilet, he was standing in front of our sitting, and I'm like, Psh! And then we got one in the kitchen, so you go to ledge to get the keys, it's like, bam! It's an air freshener and a breath freshener, all in one, man. Just Boom! Dad, you're such an athlete. I'm dead serious, Dad. I didn't know it until recently, but you are the fastest runner in the house. Can we give him a round of applause? Yeah. yeah. And you've definitely been more active lately ever since Austin started coming around saying, hey, Mr. Lance, can I talk to you about something important? <laughs> My thing is like, you only have conversations every once in a while. You don't make someone feel like every second you're gonna have another conversation with them. Cause come on, nobody wants to live like that. Ain't nobody, Austin. Ain't nobody wanna live like that. Connor! Yeah! Big con. Huge con. I was trying to think of a new and fresh way to roast Connor, but I was thinking to myself, like, what comment could I make about Connor that he probably hasn't said to himself in the mirror at the gym? <laughs> isn't isn't offensive to me. There's nothing better to look at, honestly. Let me say it in a humble way. I'm the best looking thing to look at in the mirror at the gym. I mean, there's only like a guy or two at the gym that might be bigger than me, but out of the people here, Definitely the biggest, for sure. <laughs> it's almost sad that they don't have confidence that I got, you know? I pray for them sometimes that they can feel the way I do about myself. <laughs> Connor gets a bad rep in the house that he's not pulling his weight, and that's never been less true. The other day, I needed a box cutter, couldn't find one. I used Connor's chin instead. If Connor had a spirit animal, it would be a rock'em sock'em robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rock'em sock'em robot. That's pretty dope. <laughs> That's how it looks like. Connor has beef with a couple girls in the house. Connor, is it true that you're mad at them because they all grew mustaches before you did? Oh! <laughs> can they even see this or no? On no, the camera? Nobody can see that, bro. Dude, it's coming in. Just trust. <laughs> Carol, I love our conversations, especially the ones that I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> English. It's great. Uh, it is great. No, on an actual note, I think you're an amazing conversationalist and you're like a sister to me. And I was prepping for content and I didn't want to leave you out. So here we go. When we were planning this roast, I was worried I wouldn't have enough material to uh, make an entire vlog. I watched Carol's vlog turning a high school story into a 40 minute vlog and I was like, oh no, we'll have plenty of material for this for sure. We'll just get Carol behind the mic. You watched that whole thing and you even made your own video from that. So I thought it was really funny you're roasting you on that, huh? No matter what anybody says, I think Carol's English is spot on. But you know what is not spot on? Carol's eyes when she's mad. Oh! <laughs> I've heard of a lazy eye, but your eye is still living on its mom's couch. Oh <laughs> my god! Mm. Guys, Next up guys. on my list, Allie! Yeah! Come on. Allie is an amazing sister, and I have loved having the privilege of being your bigger brother. I thank God the world shut down to bring our paths alongside each other. These last few years making content, making memories, traveling, dreaming together have been so special. And um, having the honor of watching you grow has been amazing. I wanna make sure I share some of your standout qualities that I've had the pleasure of seeing in you the last couple years. Allie, this last year has been more open-minded to hearing other people's opinions than ever before. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's more open-minded to you hearing her opinion than ever before. <laughs> 
Did you guys hear he called me amazing? And Allie is so selfless. She doesn't just take her drink back to Starbucks when she doesn't like it. She gives the people she loves the honor of doing it for her. <laughs> Sometimes, no, this is how selfless she is. Sometimes twice. You no, know, it's been really hard to gain this much patience, but after dating Austin, it's become second nature. And she's so patient that she's been known to graciously give baristas even a third or fourth chance to make her drink right. <laughs> Caleb, I don't know much about you. Nobody does. But I'm grateful to know you. I'm even more grateful to know you well enough to add you to this list and to roast the heck out of you. Oh, uh, <laughs> when I think of Caleb, and that's not often, <laughs> but the one thing I always think of when I do is how unbelievably white you are. <laughs> Caleb once got a sunburn from his laptop screen. <laughs> Caleb, I'm so glad you're here. You're such an awesome guy. You're a legend. You're an actor, content creator, musician, mechanic. Is there anything you can do? Uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. Yeah. I can do anything that your mom can do. I thank you so much. And the person I would like to see come up here next is, as luck would have it, Keiko! Thank you guys. I have no voice, so I'm handing out awards tonight. I thought I would be a little bit different and hand out awards to you guys. I'm gonna start off with Colby. Uh, why? Yeah, Colby! Why? Why? Colby, I remember the first time I met you, it was at Jay Walker's, and I, you know, you know, you just like kind of look at everyone's faces and everything, and I thought that you were the most fashionable, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. You know it's not true. You have me pick out Noah's outfits all the time. You know, Kobe, you know that TikTok about the guy, Steven, who's a third wheel, the one that's always attached to the boyfriend's girlfriend? I actually don't think you're Steven. You're actually worse. <laughs> hey, that's so bad. You know how Noah tells me I'm not going anywhere? That phrase works for you too, because I know you're coming right along with us. See you on our honeymoon. I see you on our honeymoon. <laughs> I got a great idea. I'll stick with you! <laughs> so this award goes to our Adopted Son Award. Yeah! Okay, this next one is for a great friend, Michaela. Yeah! <laughs> Michaela, you know, the first time I met you, you were with Colby. Boom, roasting. <laughs> 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 My award actually goes to Michaela for the best sleepover bunny. I've had the privilege of having many sleepovers with her from Germany and London, all over, honestly. And not many people have had the pleasure of having a sleepover with Michaela, but I'm the lucky one. She goes to bed with an eye mask, earplugs, maybe nose plugs, pretty much the same thing she wore on every date with Colby. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> My next one goes to Allie. Oh, no. <laughs> Allie, I've known you for almost four years, and after all that time, I can honestly say I can't wait to be sister-in-laws with you one day. And I'm even more excited to get to know you in 2028 when you can finally schedule me in. <laughs> <laughs> On the real, I love hanging out with you, but my only contingency is not Starbucks because you always have the guts to return it. Oh wait, you don't do that, Austin does. I commend you, Austin. Thank you, thank you. What can I say, he's the best. Like, I never have to do it. So this is for you. Wow. To my sister-in-law. My next rose is for Carol. Carol, the person who's never had a boyfriend longer than six months. Congrats on four months, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Caleb is my first boyfriend. <laughs> nice. Also, I just want to congrats on finding your other half. I mean, he's like your perfect puzzle piece. Loves hunting, loves the countryside. You've always loved the country. I mean, you can drive a car and he knows how to fix a car. It's a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> and so that goes to who finally got a boyfriend. Wow. <laughs> Now the next person is to your partner, Caleb. I also couldn't think of yours, but to the person I literally know almost nothing about, but your girlfriend is cool. I love you, Carol. Also, I'm so glad that you're in our group because I'm finally not the palest one anymore. Oh I'm a hunter, I gotta blend in with the snow. <laughs> so this award goes to him, to the person I know nothing about. Here you go. <laughs> and I saved my best two for last, for Noah and you. First, Noah. Mr. I want to get married, but wait, let's film 27 vlogs that hit at engagement, but never end in one. <laughs> you know, 
know, Noah. I love being your Barbie because you let me dress you like my Ken doll, so I guess that's a plus for me. <laughs> that's my bird award. Lance. I would roast you today, but I'm afraid if I roast you, Noah will stop kissing me again for four months. So <laughs> I had nothing to do with Noah's no kissing season. I didn't know about it. Like I was like, what is going on? I was as confused as everybody else. So I'm gonna take my seat now, but I do have my award and it is to my second dad, the best protector with the coolest outfits and is always the nicest ever. I don't have a roast for you. <laughs> One of our favorite things to do together is to grow our relationship in every way we can. And one of the ways we do that is by admitting when we're wrong. I find myself doing this a lot because somehow the middle of my sentences always interrupt the beginning of hers. <laughs> During the winter time, it's actually when I see you, I always crave something really sweet. And I realized the other day it's because you look like a walking cinnamon stick. <laughs> I was gonna say you looked like a Slim Jim going to the gym, but I decided the cinnamon stick was more accurate. <laughs> You're still here? <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching, but don't forget, we're switching YouTube channels every yeah. single episode. And you're gonna be so lost and miss some of the best moments if you don't watch all the episodes across all the channels. So make sure to check out these videos for the entire story and... Yeah.